Okay, call him Cue Dance Track. There, uh, there's no dance track, actually. <laughs> My name is Jonathan Baker. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about two universal truths and the intersection of those truths. Uh, number one, beer is delicious. Number two, Mondays are terrible. Uh, if you agree with one or both of these, please give me a resounding ow, ow! That was actually pretty good. Good job, guys. Uh, actually, let me go into a little more depth on point number one. Craft beer in particular is delicious. It's flavorful, it's local, it's a little bit more pricey, but I equate that to quality. Um, so what I want to do now is go into a little more depth. We're going to talk about Mondays and beer and the intersection of those two. First, ingredients in beer. We've got water, barley, hops, and yeast. If you're sweet water, you can also toss in a few blueberries. Um, oh, ouch. Ingredients in Mondays, there are also four primary ingredients. Uh, awkward elevator conversations are actually optional if you live and work on the first floor. Uh, Soul-crushing despair, however, is uh, unfortunately mandatory. Uh, definitions. Definition of beer. There are two types of beer, ale and lager. The primary difference is the yeast used in fermentation. Uh, it operates at different temperatures in each, and that pr produces different flavor profiles. Uh, the definition of Monday, uh, I'm going to be honest, I actually just copied and pasted this from Wikipedia. Uh, don't read it. The, the key takeaway here is that Mondays are lame. Uh, beer can also be categorized. Uh, just a few of the categories here under ale and lager. Under ale, we've got pale ale, IPAs, wheat beers, stouts, and barley wines. There are obviously more. Under lagers, Pilsners, Oktoberfest, Box, and Dunkles. I encourage you to try all of these. Uh, not at the same time. Uh, Mondays can also be categorized uh, terrible. There's the rare, very terrible. Uh, and then there are a few holidays. Holidays are the most preferable. Unfortunately, they're also the most rare. However, Labor Day, anyone? Uh, by the numbers, there are only three microbreweries in Georgia right now. More, please. More, please, yes. Uh, in contrast, there are over 500 microbreweries in the U.S. You can see Georgia is clearly not pulling its weight. Uh, this actually used to say 52. I think Colin oh, screwed up my slide. There are, <laughs> in contrast, there are 52 Mondays every year in Georgia alone. <laughs> no matter how you add it up, that is a lot of suck. I'm sure you're starting to see the dollar signs here. On one side, we've got beer. There's a need for more craft beer in Georgia, okay? On the other side, we've got Mondays. There's a need to make Mondays less terrible. Uh, a few friends and I were discussing this very problem three years ago. We decided to uh, test hypothesis. We started brewing beer every Monday night. Turns out, it worked. It made Mondays less terrible. It made beer more delicious. Uh, so this intersection of beer and Mondays, how does this work? What are the actual benefits? Well, one, it extends the weekend, okay? Two, we get to hang out with friends on a weeknight. I know, right? Three, we get to drink some mighty fine beer. Actually, more than extend the weekend, we found that Mondays and beer replaces the weekend. Uh, weekends are actually now, for us, a little overrated. Mondays are kind of aware of that. We look forward to Mondays. Um, we also get to hang out with friends. You'll notice all of the friends milling around in the background here. Uh, I actually don't have any friends in this picture, uh, which, is, which is awkward for me right now. <laughs> let's, let's move on if we could. Uh, and the beer itself. So what we do is we, we don't brew kind of your beer pong beer. We, we stress quality over quantity. You should consume a ton of it because you're drinking on weeknights. Um, you should pair it with dinner. You can also drink it by yourself, uh, not recommended in large quantities. Uh, if I could leave you with two things, we started with two truths, I'd like to leave you with two. One, drink good beer with good people as often as you can, not to excess. Uh, there's a fine line there, actually. Two, make every day count, even Mondays. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, all the days. One, actually, one more point. If you go down to Hop City, which is just around the corner, on Monday nights, Mention Monday Night Brewing at the register, you can get a discount on all of your craft beer purchases, which is nice. Uh, and that, folks, is how we roll. Uh, check us out online, mondaynightbrewery.com, or on the Twitters, at Monday Night. 
uh, and we hope to be in stores and in bars in 2010.